Armat Engineering Laboratories. As of January 1st, 2018, there are 220 Armat laboratories in all regions of the Republic of Armenia, including Artsakh, with more than 5,000 children. I can operate the drill machine and design parts of a robot. I developed some automatic devices that perform fully automatic actions. We work on games and provide design. We programmed the end of the evil of Hovhannes Humayan as an animated cartoon. I participated in five robotic contests. The first three contests were educative for me, and then during the last two contests, I started to compete. I create games via Scratch program, one of them as Pythagoras. I built a mechanical bird with my friend. It's a problem connected to flying is that engines are very large and it will not be able to lift the engines. We shall solve that problem and it will fly. I work with HTML programming language. I like 3D modeling and Arduino platform control at Armat Clubs. I try to work with children as equals. This means that I do not represent myself as a teacher. I more often represent myself as their friend. At the club, I have learned to believe in my own strength, move forward and never give up. I shall become either an aircraft designer or a programmer. Yes, I like teamwork more, as what you achieve during teamwork is more effective. After attending Ahmad, I've decided to become a programmer. 84% of the pupils entered higher education institutes, 82% of which preferred the fields of natural sciences, IT, and technical specialties. 43% of the pupils work at or have established startup companies. RMAT plays a serious role in the society. It is a very serious change in that society. After the information that the children get during the classes of RMAT, the most important phenomenon happens. It is love towards technology. It is very important that a child goes home, finds something on YouTube, generates new ideas, which they will call into life together during the classes of RMAT the next days. The economic activity increasing in the ICT sector will lead to development of other sectors of the economy, regional development, termination of emigration and promotion of immigration, formation of leaders and entrepreneurs of new quality. We keep in touch with those children, see what they do. For example, during the Digitech Expo, which is a good occasion to see and wonder how the children of that age can deeply explore a technological direction. For example, talk about IoT devices or those products and startups established by them. I create 3D models, 3D animations, work on short animated cartoons. I created an automated school bell system called Clever Sentry. I have already created a game which you can see on Facebook page of Smart City Yerevan. This is a line following robot which is also avoiding obstacles and searching items. We're from Sisian. We create fonts. You can see the example here. I've modeled a house, which was my friend's dream one. 
I created Rising Hope game with my friend Vahe. It's an action shooter game about the future. We've participated in the open game contest, depending on the results of which it may be sent to the international market. Together, we've worked on three projects. The first project won the second place during Digicamp contest, and the last Logotech startup won the first place in Armenia and the eighth place in the world in Nasser International Space Apps Challenge. We won second place in Seed Stage in the Seven Startup Summit 2017 and we take part in the European Youth Award. We've passed all stages and now we're in the final. We shall know the results soon. The aims of the project are to develop technological education, to support the professional orientation of school children, equitable development of technologies in all regions, to inspire patriotism and adherence to the motherland. Today I'm here in Armenia to Congratulation of Ahmad Laboratory win the Sustainable Development Excellent Award. In 2020, we shall already have 3,000 additional workplaces solely from our math, and in 2023, that number will reach 10,000. The average salary of graduates of our math, aged 18 to 19, amounts to 270 US dollars. In case of investment in all schools, the NPV will amount to 617 million US dollars. We look for and find those people whose goal it is to restore Armenia as a technological country. We call these people for donations, for example, to establish our math engineering laboratories in their own schools. 1,150 schools should have an Armath Engineering Laboratory. Let's make Armenia not the country of emigration, but the country of repatriation. Armath Algorithm of Future. Join our mat. Let's build the future technological Armenia together.